This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at metallic bonding and the properties of metals. So we'll start with a quick look at the properties of metals. Metals are good conductors of heat. They are also good conductors of electricity. Metals are also malleable, which means they can be bent into shape. They are also ductile, which means they can be drawn into wires. So here we have some examples of the uses of metals. Metals are used as wires because they are ductile and good conductors of electricity. The crushed can shows that metals are malleable, which means they can be bent into shape. And metals are used to make saucepans because they are good conductors of heat. So next we look at the structure of metals and the metallic bond. The bonding in metals, which is metallic bonding, is known as being non-directional. Non-directional bonding means that the force of attraction occurs in all directions. So here we can see a diagram of the metallic structure. The metallic structure consists of a lattice of positive metal ions, or cations, and within the structure is the sea of delocalized electrons. As we'll see later in the video, the delocalized electrons in the metallic structure are responsible for many of the properties. On the right we have the definition of a metallic bond which is defined as the electrostatic attraction between the lattice of cations and the sea of delocalized electrons. So in the metallic structure we have the lattice of cations and the sea of delocalized electrons. The attraction between the cations and the delocalized electrons is what makes up the metallic bond. So next we'll explain the properties of metals. So the first properties we'll look at are electrical and thermal conductivity. So as mentioned previously, metals are good conductors of electricity and heat. The reason for this is the presence of delocalized electrons within the metallic structure. These delocalized electrons are free to move within the structure. This makes metals good conductors of electricity and heat. So to summarize, the sea of delocalized electrons within the metallic structure are free to move and conduct electricity and heat. Next we look at the reason why metals are malleable. So metals are malleable because of the non-directional bonding in the metallic structure. In this diagram we can see the effect of a force on the metallic structure. When the force is applied the layers can slide over each other without breaking the metallic bond. And this explains why metals can be bent into shape. So when a metal is bent the layers slide over each other but the metallic bond itself is not broken. And this is due to the non-directional metallic bonding. So to summarize, when a force is applied, the layers can slide over each other without breaking the metallic bond. And once again, this is due to the non-directional metallic bonding. So that's all from this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect the strength of the metallic bond.